Taste Me in 23 continues with a lesson about surprising foods that are not only delicious, but have the power to heal. Please welcome back to the show, the author of Eat to Beat Disease, oh, it's a good one, Dr. William Lee. I love your book. Thank you. It really is uh, life-changing. I think everybody should read it. Well, Let thank you very start. much. I, I love your jacket. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, persimmons. I say persimmon in sometimes, but I get it wrong. But starting with persimmon. persimmons, all what right. do we need to know? So, persimmon's a fruit. It looks like a tomato, but actually tastes a bit like a melon. Mm -hmm. And the reason it's good is that it's actually got natural substances. Don't try to pronounce these. Beta cryptoxanthin, zeaxanthin, and lutein. But here's what you need to know. <laughs> Protects your vision, improves your circulation, and activates your metabolism so you have more energy. I have a question about persimmon. When yeah. I eat them, and we eat them quite a bit in our house, um, my tongue always gets itchy. Two kinds of persimmon. <laughs> Fuyu, which you can eat like an apple, okay. doesn't make you as and itchy. And poison persimmon. And uh, hachia, which actually is astringent, which is more likely to cause it. So uh, you have to choose So you need to know. Mm. All right. Now, I'm we like mushrooms. Know. Are mushrooms good for us? I hope so. There's I love all kinds of mushrooms. White button, crimini, maitake, mm. uh, honshimeji. You choose them. You can get anything. But they all have beta-D-glucan, which is an amazing soluble fiber. And we've talked about that before. Yeah. That actually improves your natural antibody immunity in your nose, in your mouth, to protect you from germs you might breathe in or swallow. Oh. And what That's about exciting. the stems? Okay, also we take them away. Yeah, so it turns out beta-glucans in the cap, which we eat, but also the stems. So if you're cutting mushrooms, keep the stems and cook with them. I okay, always right. use the stems. I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing, yeah, taking Yeah, sometimes you do stems. that. Huh. Okay, bok choy. All right, bok choy, a lot of people don't realize this, is in the same it's family, it's a mm -hmm. cousin of broccoli. Mm. Both of them actually have sulforaphanes, and sulforaphanes heal your gut. Mm. In fact, human studies have shown that just a cup of this vegetable day can lower the harmful toxin-producing gut uh, bacteria in your gut by 35%. Oh, oh, wow. All right, better gut, better health. Sweet potatoes, when we come back, the purple, the yellow, which one is best for you? Right after this, we'll be right back. Eat to beat disease, the purple sweet potato. Tell us about it. Right, well, purple sweet potatoes kind of look like regular sweet potatoes, except on the inside, they've got this wonderful natural purple dye called anthocyanins mm. that actually help to regulate your blood pressure. And so the key thing about this purple color is that if you actually refrigerate it, it actually turns much more intense. So if you've got leftovers, the next day it's going to be even more beautiful. Right. Even more purple. Flavor. Wow. Okay. Seaweed. All right. I Used love to be, seaweed. You can only get a seaweed salad at a Japanese restaurant, a sushi bar. Mm -hmm. Now you can get it in the prepared food section near the pre-made sushi and the maki rolls. Mm -hmm. Seaweed actually has a natural chemical called fucoxanthin. Fucoxanthin actually activates your metabolism, lowers your cholesterol, and also helps your blood pressure. Right. I love it too. And what about the squid ink pasta? One of my favorites. Now, this is actually an antioxidant. When we normally think about antioxidants, we think about vegetables and fruits like berries. This is an antioxidant from the sea, comes from the squid, great to cook with. Um, you can cook with rice, you can actually cook with pasta, or you can just have it pre-made. What's it's this? Like, that's squid the squid ink. ink. Where did That's you get it? From the squid. Oh, you can get it from a specialty store. You can order online. <laughs> okay. One tablespoon into it, stir it up, add a little lemon zest, a little parsley. It's excellent. Wow. All right. It needs okay. to be refrigerated. Okay. Uh, okay, what do we what about the pear over here? I love, the humble pear. I you know, to me, no pear is humble. Actually, it's really great because it's got dietary fiber. Dietary fiber heals your gut, mm -hmm. and with pears, you can eat the skin, so you gotta wash it really, really well. Mm. What I actually think is that um, if you want a little pro tip on how to actually check for a ripe pear, yeah. you pick it up at the bottom, okay. go ahead, and you just pinch it underneath the stem, and if it gives a little bit, then ready to rock. Ready oh, to wow. Okay. All right, quickly That's before good. we have to go, chicken thighs are okay. Chicken Don't be afraid okay. of the thigh. Trim off the fat. It's got a special form of vitamin it's called vitamin K2. It's been shown in epidemiological studies to lower the risk of heart disease. Cool. Good the name news. of the book is Eat to Beat Disease by Dr. William Lee. Make sure you pick up your copy. Thank you we'll so right much.